Hey guys, I'm back. So, so far I've accomplished, I've accomplished this. <laughs> so I'm still working on the edge pieces, which are here. And I have them divided up into male, male, female, male, double female, and then corner. So, yeah, let's go. So hey guys, I'm back, and while I was um, pittering around this today, I completed this segment, and I think I figured out a way to kind of navigate the pieces a little bit, a little bit better. So if you'll notice, um, this is going to be hard because they're glass, but I'm starting to pick up on like being able to eyeball the size and shape of the holes and um, the male pieces, so the sides. I'm starting to be able to do a better job of like eyeballing and gauging like whether or not um, something would fit. So for example, um, I'm gonna try to, like, to find a really extreme example of this. Um, so this piece, for example, uh, this edge piece, I don't know if you can tell, but this side is like super, super skinny and very tiny compared to, say, um, let's see a big fat one. I don't know, like these differences are so subtle. But for me, like when I'm looking on the table, like I can tell the difference in, this, in the shapes now. Like I can see that's, that this one is like skinnier with a slight curve and this one is like doesn't have a curve and is like more straight and but it's fatter does that does that make sense and so based on that I'm able to do a better job of like gauging um, whether or not the pieces will fit together and so I'm not wasting as much time um, going through a process of elimination where I'm trying out every single piece and so with that ta -da, I've been able to make some headway here so um, this is what I've got, and so now my next strategy that I'm mulling over is, do I stick with this piece? Because again, you don't know which side is up. And so the problem with starting another piece, which I, just, I did over here, is that this could go like this, or it could go like, like this. And <clears throat> as you can see, like, they don't stay together. So you have to be very careful when you're moving them because they will come apart. 
And so if, uh, for example, I get a piece that's this big, I don't want to have to flip it over because it's going to, it's going to come apart. So I'm wrestling with whether or not I should just stick with this large piece that I've got started and then just build from there versus starting like all a bunch of like smaller pieces and then having to wrestle with, you know, which side is the right side. So I also don't know. I know I said it was like 12. I think it's 12 by 12 is the size of this puzzle. So it's not a big one. Um, oh, by the way, Coos just left our house. <clears throat> he came over to visit and uh, <laughs> he appraised my progress on this puzzle and the other one that he got me, which is the gradient puzzle. It's on my, my puzzle table in the living room. And uh, he was he was impressed. He was impressed by the amount of progress that I've made. So yay! Um, and, you know, I appreciate the fact that my friend thought enough of me um, to get this for me. So um, I'm happy that, you know, he's able to see me making some progress with it. Because, man, when I first opened this, I didn't know how it was going to go. So anywho, I think I'm just going to keep plugging away on this because like I said, I'm just afraid that if it just, if I grow multiple segments that are huge, when it comes time to put them together, it's just going to be hell trying to like flip it because they, the pieces don't stay. Um, they come across, they come apart pretty easily um, <clears throat> if you lift and shift them, so. I think that's the strategy I'm going to go with now. But yeah, I'm definitely in a better place in terms of being able to kind of eyeball shapes and sizes and determine like what may or may not work. Um, not the best place, obviously, but slightly better. <laughs> slightly better. My brain's starting to get used to it, in other words. Um, so yeah, let's get back to it. I'm going to just start working through this again. For me, it's process of elimination. So as I try pieces, you know, I set them over here. These are like um, male, male. These are corners. These are female, female. These are male, female. These are the ones that I haven't tried. These are the ones that I've tried. And these are the pieces that I've already put together. Um, and then these are uh, pieces that are also put together already, but they are... Um, they're inside, and I'm not worrying about the inside right now. All the other inside pieces are crowded over here. You're off camera, you can't even see them. Um, I'm just trying to get the perimeter of the puzzle in place. Also, I think that that will give me some stability, <laughs> some much needed stability, because like I said, it comes apart very easily right now. So I'm gonna put on my headsets and get to work. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I got a phone call, but while I was on the phone, I was able to complete this little piece here. So, yay!
to find another edge piece to match up to, to this one. So, really odd. All right, guys, so I'm going to end it here for tonight. And I will see you later because my battery's getting ready to die. And also, I think I've used up all my corner pieces. I don't know what else I can do right now. So, yeah, this is where we're at. Thanks for joining us. This is Nicole with Honest Try TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments down below. See you next time. Bye.